Bitcoin rising this morning following news that Tesla has bought about one and a half billion dollars in the cryptocurrency and will soon start accepting it as payment for its vehicles. Joining us right now is Mike Novogratz. He's the founder and CEO of Galaxy Digital. And Mike, um, cryptocurrency really taking off on this. Bitcoin up the last I checked over 11 percent. What do you think of this news? Listen, it's big news. I mean, Elon Musk has done better than any CEO in the last few years of driving his stock price and driving shareholder value. But one reason is he's listening. He's listening to millennials and Gen Z. Now, this is the currency of their generation in lots of ways. It's the store of wealth of their generation. So uh, I think it's a really big deal. Uh, you know, Michael Saylor did a conference last Thursday, and there was over 1,400 CFOs and CEOs on the conference, over 10,000 people, uh, where he went through and talked about how a corporate could buy Bitcoin. And when I was talking to the audience, you know, my message came right back to, listen to your audience. Look, at, look what happened with GameStop, right? This, this is a generation that's speaking loud and clear. And I think Elon did it brilliantly. Let's break this down into two pieces, because I think it's two separate pieces of news. One, that they'll be allowing customers soon to perhaps pay for a car in Bitcoin. They didn't say whether they'd hold on to that Bitcoin or instantaneously flip it, like PayPal has said they'd be doing. If you, they let you do a transaction, they'd probably flip it and immediately change it back to a more stable uh, form, like a more stable currency. Um, the other is taking one and a half billion dollars of their cash on hand and plowing that into to Bitcoin. I mean, that's a significant amount for them. If you look at it, it's probably seven and a half percent of what they had um, as of the end of the year when they've got about 19.3 billion dollars in cash or cash equivalents on hand. Uh, break this down in, into two pieces. First of all, what do you think about the idea? Go ahead. Every company should be looking at how to accept digital you know, currencies as uh, digital payments as part of their uh, business scheme. Like, it, it's not that difficult. Uh, it's what customers want. It's where the world is moving. And so that, I think, he's getting ahead of the curve. And I think you're going to see every company look to figure out how they, from McDonald's to, you, you know, Bojangles, you name it. Um, I think the second is a different bet. And, you know, we have a debasement of fiat currency going on, right? We have a debasement of the dollar. And so I think that's a more speculative bet, but it's also a bet, even if it's a smaller portion of your treasury, that tells your customers, hey, we're listening. You know, we understand where the world is going. We're looking forward. You know, people want to invest in companies for the next hundred years, not the last hundred years. And that's becoming more and more clear. Mike, as you said, no one can argue with, with what Elon has achieved uh, for his company and its share price over the last year or so. What, though, do you make of his tweets supporting uh, Doge? You know, I, I wish he wouldn't. Listen, I think, you know, Dogecoin reminds me a lot of GameStop. It's a meme. Uh, it was funny for a little bit. But now it's at market valuation where people are going to lose lots of money in Doge. You know, Bitcoin has a real purpose. Ethereum has a real purpose. Lots of the stable coins have a real purpose. And Doge is kind of a, kind of a meme, a joke. And so I sometimes wonder, Elon is so smart, and, you know, he, he can do whatever he wants to do because he's making everybody bunny and and. Like, I think Doge is uh, a little bit like the 420, you know, comment. Welcome back to Squawk Box. Bitcoin spiking, as we learned just moments ago, that Tesla bought $1.5 billion of the cryptocurrency. And with so much attention lately on disclosures around short selling, SPACs and more, this news is us asking whether Elon Musk should have disclosed the Bitcoin buy as he seemed to hype the cryptocurrency over the past few weeks. Joining us right now uh, is longtime activist investor Carsten Block, founder of Muddy Waters Research uh, so much to talk to you about. I, I wanted to talk to you about short selling unto itself, and I want to get there in a moment. But uh, given the news that we just learned this morning uh, about Tesla and its uh, acquisition of, of, of $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin, but more importantly, all of the activity we've seen from Elon Musk on Twitter around Bitcoin and around other cryptocurrencies in the past several weeks, I'm curious uh, what you think about potentially even allegations about manipulation and the like. And the way the SEC might even think about some of this? Well, <laughs> I mean, Elon's pretty hard for the SEC to touch, right? And they weren't able to do really much of anything to him when he tweeted the fake buyout offer a few years ago at uh, $420. So, you know, in terms of does, is, can it rise the level of manipulation when Elon or Chamath tweet out that, hey, I'm long GameStop calls or something else or Bitcoin, Doge, go and buy. 
you know, I, I, that, I, that's a really, I, I doubt it. I, I have a hard time. I mean, even if that were anybody, but again, the SEC just does not have a record of success against Elon Musk. So I expect any effort in that direction would go would, yeah, would just be a dead end basically. 